Good morning, OJR, and welcome to the first ever student government video update. I'm Colin Gray, student body president, here with the lovely Miss Abby All, student body vice president, and we're here to talk to you today about some ways you can get involved with student government here at the high school. One of the easiest ways to become active in student government is to join a committee. There are currently nine different committees, and each has its own tasks and responsibilities. First up, we've got the academic committee. Those guys are in charge of making policies that changes anything related to academic life here at ONJ. Last year, for example, the academic committee changed the health class requirement for students in 10th and 11th grade so they may choose to take health any two years of high school. There are also the graduation and prom committees. Comprised of mainly juniors and seniors, these two groups, both pretty self-explanatory, are in charge of planning two of the year's biggest and most important events. Next up, we have the culture committee in charge of creating, administrating, and evaluating the various culture surveys that students take here every year in order to determine what the school needs to change. One of my personal favorites is the food committee. They basically think of ways to improve what's available for students to eat here during the day. There's an advisory committee that consists of all homeroom representatives, in addition to anyone who has good ideas for ways to make advisory worth their time. The Powder Puff and Homecoming committees are both pretty fun, obviously in charge of planning the annual Powder Puff game and homecoming dance. And last but certainly not least, the Fundraising and Activity Committee is in charge of organizing Spirit Weeks and all sorts of different school events. So, now that you know what all the committees are, you just need to sign up. If you'd like to be a part of a committee that we just mentioned, but did not put your name on the sheet that was sent to your advisory two weeks ago, all you need to do is talk to one of your five class council members or stop by Mr. Roth's room 1209. Each week, committee meeting dates and times are posted on the boards outside the cafeteria and across the hall from Mr. Roth's room. Today, there are fundraising and activities and homecoming committee meetings in room 1209 after school. There's also a Potter Puff meeting after school tomorrow in Mrs. Smith's room 1101. And don't forget that next week is Spirit Week. Wear your purple on Tuesday, tie-dye on Wednesday, dress like your favorite superhero on Thursday, and wear your class color Friday. Freshmen are gray, sophomores are black, juniors are white, and seniors are red. The more you guys participate, the more fun we'll have all week. That's right, Colin. That's all we have for you guys this morning. And until next week, I'm Colin Gray. And I'm Abby All. And that's your student government update.